But you're like you you you're telling Bye me like, you're like, you don't remember like the 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 wedding between Forrest and Jenny? No. But it's like why? What do you mean why? I saw that movie like a year or two ago. Okay, that's fair. I've seen the movie like twice. <laughs> that that is fair. I did I did and watch I've only seen it once. I did watch Forrest Gump more times than you technically because I did uh, watch it. I did watch bits and pieces of it in English class. Then watched it fully with you and the rest of the family. Then watched it again in a American history class. Dude, at the end of Amer dude, I'm I freaking miss that uh, that American history teacher. He ta he taught so many classes, like literally our school. He was like actually carrying that building. He was carrying that building because he taught almost every history class, and he also taught an English class. Like he taught he taught civics. He taught personal fi he taught uh, economics, personal finance. He taught American history, and he taught um. He even taught, um, 1960s, um, and he also taught one other, he, he also taught one other history class, and he also taught, um, I think it was, was it AP US? I don't remember. And then he also taught, um, uh, English 3 for, like, one year, just because they needed an English 3 teacher, so he, so he taught English 3, I think it was the previous year. And I remember everyone, because someone, because he was talking about... It, like exams and stuff someone was like wait how many classes do you teach and he was like boy well they got me teaching everything nowadays no and at one point he mentioned that that he taught english three last year and everyone was like you can teach english and he was like yeah he was like i can't no! i just don't because i like history more and i, I miss him though because he uh just doesn't work at our school anymore like last year was his last year apparently i don't think he ever said that although which sucks because i liked him a lot uh, he had a- he had like a- They replaced him with freaking uh, Willy Wonka Oh, or yeah. We should actually tell the story. Um... Oh, yeah, we should. We should. It's That's a good it's story. A, it's a good story. Um... But, uh... Yeah, but I, I miss him. He was also a huge uh, music nerd like me. Like, literally, like, at his desk, he had this really big portrait of Bob Dylan. <laughs> Just because he really liked Bob Dylan. And I was like, dude, I, I, I rock with this guy's vibe. He would play on, on, oh my on God. at the beginning of class every day on the board. He would have like Woo! what we would go through that day and he would be playing music and it would always be some music from like the 60s to like the 90s. Like that kind of like it, it, it would always be like it would always be like it would be like Queen Van Halen. It would be like U2. It would be like all of this like there was even some Led Zeppelin. Like, he just played, he played a lot of, like, classic rock. And sometimes he would play, um, uh, other stuff. But I was, like, I just vibed with him so hard. I, and I miss him. He was a really fun teacher, too. <laughs> um, but, uh, man, what was I gonna go into? I don't uh, even the remember. The whiteboard story? No, not the, no, that, that's, I had something. Later. Well, well, I was talking about this teacher, and, and I was, like, leading into something, but I don't remember what it was. Dang, I don't know, man. What was I talking about? I was talking about. I literally don't remember what <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I literally don't remember what I was gonna say. Bro, phone, shut up. There's another firebrand right here. Yep. Rather, Armorer Ace. Armorer Ace is the species. Firebrand is the name of the one specific guy. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. They are like hot knife through butter. Man. I literally don't oh, remember. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, whiteboard story. Yeah. So, um, our psychology class at school is online. We've told this story somewhere before, but our psychology teacher, due to health reasons, had to, uh, basically prematurely you like go that far back. Uh, prematurely uh retired uh from the class for the semester. For the semester, yeah, just for that semester. So our psychology class was online, and we just had the the ISS teacher come in and supervise us, and basically be our teacher. Um, and so in the next the next class after that was civics with this new teacher who's who's uh, new to our school. He's not new as a teacher, but he was new to the school. Um, oh god. And because in that building where all the history classes are, they have to share a lot of rooms. They also oh. do that in the same building where all the math classes are. Um, 
and didn't know where to go. And this teacher had written a a countdown till Christmas on the board, like a blank days until Christmas. That that's what they had written on the board. But it was always wrong. It was always it was a day off. It was always one day off. It was always one day less than it should be. Was it one day more? No, it was, it was yeah, one day it, less. It was always one day less than it should be. Um, and never, because I first and for noticed like, it, because I would come yeah. into class first, and I'm like, Ryan, look at this. And for like, yeah, and for like a week, this bro cannot count. For like a week, me and Wyatt, like at the beginning of class. Oh, and back in October, they started to count. It was like, oh, 50 days till Christmas. So oh yeah, we, that's right. So we just, so we completely like vandalized. Oh it. yeah, we just vandalized. Because <laughs> because we just thought it was stupid. I normally, I normally don't participate in these kinds of activities drew, and behavior. I drew an ugly face on it. Oh, we took a picture. We can put the picture up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we can put the picture up. We basically Wyatt drew, Wyatt drew a face underneath it, and then I just changed the number that it said. Um, but anyways, so the count was restarted in December, uh, and what happened was that it was always a day less than what it actually was. So every day in class, me and Wyatt, we would, uh, change the number. Like, for example, if it was 17 days until Christmas, dude, this is just an example, I don't know if this is a day or not, that actually happened. We would always be like, no, it's not 17, it's 18. It's simple math. You just count from today to the 25th. <laughs> um, and we would always be like, no, it's 18, not 17. So like every day we would change the number on the board and we would even do it like in the, in the same style. Whereas it was like just red marker so we would just write it and then we would add like green dots around it because every single oh letter oh my god oh my god because every single letter in the sentence that said blank days till christmas had like green dots around each letter so we'd add green dots too we were just fixing the sign but then one day when the sign said nine days until christmas we were we were changing it to ten and we uh we started having an argument about um, how to write the how, how to write the letter uh or how to write the number zero the letter zero um and then the teacher that actually like 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 th that whose classroom that is walked in and he was like so you're the ones that are changing he was like, my he board was like, hey you're the guys as we were as we were fixing it and I turned around and I was like yes we are yeah I was like yes, yes we, we are I, as if we're the celebrities or something but I didn't realize that he, he was probably mad at us which he was no he was mad at us he was like just old white guy mad at us where he was just kind of passive aggressive yeah old yeah that's actually perfect oh old God. old white man old white man angry passive aggressive. Um, kind of the, you're not that guy, pal. Like, that kind of energy, you know what I mean? Well, he was not that aggressive. No, 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 but not that, not, you see not, this? not that aggressive. Yes, I Armor Ace is just stupid. Um, so basically, he, so, me and him had an argument so about how many days there actually were until Christmas. Okay. He kept saying there was nine, I kept saying there was ten, and I literally took my hands out and counted. I was like, Today's the 15th, right? So I'm 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That's 10 days. But he, with 100% seriousness, was trying to tell me, no, it's nine. His, cause his and, argument and, was but, that in the English language, yeah, until because, yeah, means he, everything but he, he, that last he day. He was saying, days. no, but it's days until Christmas. And I was like, yeah, and days until Christmas. There's 10 days until Christmas. So then he was like, start counting again. So then I counted on my hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then he said, stop. That's how many days there are until Christmas. And I'm like, no, because there's still one more day until Christmas. And then he said, no, because until means everything but the day, like everything but the thing you're counting to. And I was like, Sir, that's just not- that's just not how the word until is used. That's not what until means. And then he was- I was like, no one- I was like, I've never heard until be used that way. And then he said, well, who have you heard until being used by? And I was like, everyone in my life! I know no one that uses it that way! And he's like, well, that's strange, because that's how it works. And then he's like leaving the classroom and he says, well, anyways, because it's my board, I'd like it if you change it back now. So we're just like, sure, and then we change it back to nine. And I'm like bugging out for the rest of class. You, you, this you, you this were mad angered about it. me. You were this mad about it this level of, of ignorance and like, 
sheer un unknowledge, I don't know what to call it, was like actually like angering me. Angering me? I don't even know if that's a term. Yeah, angering. So mm -hmm. I started, I literally just went to Google. I, I should have done this while he was in the room. I should have looked up how many days until Christmas. Guess what answer Google gave me? 10. It gave me 10 days until Christmas. Then I went and I looked up the definition for the word until. And until is can be both an inclusive or exclusive word, meaning that when you're using the word until in reference to counting the number of events till a certain event, you can include. Like, do you see you how mad he is right include now? Include and exclude that event that you're counting to, but it depends on the context. If it is something specific, you do include it. If it is something less specific and more. Oh my um, implied, then you don't include it, because it- you don't really know what you're counting to. So, for example, if you're counting towards a specific date, then you do include it. So if today's the 15th, and I'm counting to the 25th, and I want to say how many days there are oh until God. that day, it's 10 days! It's, That's what like, it is! It's not that serious. That, it's 10 days! It's legitimately it's like... Like, it's 10 what? days. So then, then, later, later, I was asking at lunch, I was asking everyone that I sit with at lunch, and I asked them, I just said, how many days are there until Christmas? And there were, every, everyone said 10. Everyone said 10. There were two people that didn't say 10. One of them said 9, the other one said 14. And I genuinely could not tell if he was kidding or not. Um, and I remember I was talking to, um, I was talking to, uh, our friend Spencer. I was asking, Spencer is like the smartest guy in the band. Either him or this one other guy whose name I'm just not going to say for reasons. Um, but it's like, it's, it's him and that guy. Have, are like the two Ryan, smartest people in cut the Ryan, cutscene! Cutscene? You're kidding. I'm complaining. I'm literally complaining. Oh, Arthur, I'm so glad you came to help me. Speak faster. But not even you can defeat that fiend, Sardius, without the goddess bracelets. I once wore. Oh my gosh, how long is bracelet. this? Bracelets. And that's why I was. Get invested, idiot. That's why I it's was. It's super ghouls and ghosts. And captured. Exactly. Oh. Erm, um, exactly. By the demons. I barely managed to hide it on the way here. Please, Arthur. Come back here with the bracelet and release me. You are my only hope. Bye. <laughs> Bye. But yeah, throughout the entirety of that class, Ryan was so mad. Yeah, anyways, for like, so anyways, because anyways, every time anyways. he would, every time he would bring it back up, <laughs> like literally me, Connor, I, I would, and I would, the teacher, the freaking teacher who was there to watch us, you know, our like replacement teacher, yeah. he was there to like be like, who? Oh, uh, why are you so mad about this? And I was like, because I can't, I my brain can't handle the ignorance. I literally can't. So. What I was gonna say was, I, I asked Spencer, I said, Spencer, how many days until Christmas? I got it. And he said, he said either nine or ten. He just, like, right off the top of his head, immediately was like, either nine or ten. And then he went, wait, what's today? Then I said the 15th. And he was like, yeah, it's the 10th. And then I explained to everyone at the table um, the origins of the question and the argument I had with that civics teacher. And he was like, no, it's ten. Because he said, because he was like, once you get to Christmas Eve, oh my god, then bro. it'll say zero days until Christmas. And he's like, well, that's not true, because there's still one day until Christmas. Because zero means that it is Christmas. And I'm like, 
I know. Do you see how he did? Like we, like everybody, agree with me right here. Like I know the guy was being a little silly, but we all know that it's like it's not that. Serious. Like we know that it's not. Like guys, come on. I even I was genuinely considering writing on the board word for word the definition of the word until and not on like and, and not on the board where the countdown was but on Bro. the board across the room because there were two and I was literally gonna say oh well he didn't say anything about the other board so I can edit that one all I want like I got so petty but I didn't end up doing anything I just I was just like whatever and then left the class and I'm still not over it. Well, I mean, I Bro, was. I was. Oh my god. I was over it until it got brought up. Yay! Whiteboard story. Anyways, yeah, that's the whiteboard story. That is the mo that is the the most that is the most confrontational I've ever been to a teacher. That's not true. Have I ever like had a you body slammed me? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that literally doesn't count. Do they know about this? I think they do. They, I think we've told it definitely. We, yeah. At least, at least once. I don't feel like I don't feel like talking about it. Um, <laughs> but because you know, I'm kind of a I'm I'm very much an I don't want to get in trouble kind of kid, so I don't really like doing anything that will get me in trouble. Go figure. So I don't really like talking back to teachers, even if they are in the wrong. I'll just kind of silently be angry at myself. But this time I was like you know, actively changing the board and going like, no, here, let me count on my hands in front of you like you're a child that it's 10 days until Christmas. <laughs> and I kept uh, thinking uh, about uh, it. I'm uh, playing the game again. Remember this level? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right, yeah. We do, I do it again, but this time with the goddess bracelet. The best weapon in the game. Except it's not the best weapon in the game. Is it like is it like bad? Uh I mean it one taps everything, but it doesn't like home in, so it's literally just not as good as the um, bow and arrow. Or crossbow rather. Yeah. Also this range kinda sucks. But it's it's good. It, the damage has to do with like how close you are to the enemy, so. If they're super far away and I have to keep touching them from the other side of the map, then I'm, I'm gonna be like poking them over mm -hmm. and over again. But if I'm right on top of them, they will get to Michael. Uh, <sighs> Man, now I'm kind of like worn out from telling that story. <laughs> Just calm down. What was what was I gonna say about the old civics teacher? Literally, what was I gonna say about him? Mm. Mm. I don't even remember. Then Wyatt just like had to mention the whiteboard story. It's a good story. It is a good story. The guy, he was, he has like, he, not to mention that guy like permanently has a DreamWorks smirk. Like, oh, he does. Onto his face. Yeah, no, I didn't really like looking at him because he always literally he has a DreamWorks face. Yeah, he literally has a constant DreamWorks. He face. looks like a comedian. He's like, what is the deal with these kids on my whiteboard? Like, why, why, do you ever just look at a, like, a guy and- What in the world is that? Why, do you ever just look at, like, like a dude and go- Just look at a dude? And, and go, like, he looks- just look at a dude with love in your eyes? No. I have what? nothing, I have nothing but hate. And, uh- For men! I know- For I, white men! No, no. For, this no, white man! No, no, for life. <laughs> um, bro. But do you ever just look at like a guy and go, he looks like he he looks like a comedian, but like not no. in a, like not in an offensive way. Like, do you remember when we were at CC's and we saw that guy with a uh, white hair and like a Hawaiian shirt? And we were like, bro, he looks like a comedian. I remember? literally do not. Dude, there was a there was a guy there was a guy that we saw at CC's. We both were like, dude, he looks like a '90s like sitcom like comedian because like, he like because like he Joe. he had like bright white hair like bright white short hair and like a bright yellow and pink hawaiian shirt it was really funny and we were like dude he just looks like a comedian he looks like a funny guy and he also and he also like had a dream <laughs> like he just looked he looked like a funny guy like unironically like 
He looked like he could crack some killer jokes. <laughs> also, it's time to end the episode. It is time to end the episode. That's episode time, everybody. Oh my god. Clee, cling, uh, I'm on a pirate ship. I wonder if I'll drown. Oh my god. Next time I go to this. Man. Dun, 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 dun. I thought you were about to do the Among Us trap remix for some reason. Oh wait, I just realized. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. It's we want time. Yeah. Please. Uh, yeah. Please. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, uh, it's like the Will Smith grunt song by Jack Holmes. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Okay, and then same. And then bye everybody. <laughs> bye.